Chaos is power. And power is enriched by the heart. To face your truth will make a future with your own hands. Childs of the internet, it is I, Multi12679. I know it has been a minute since we did one of these videos. Uh, another one of these, once again, talking about video game videos. And today, we're going to be talking about a game that came out... You know, I'm starting to recognize the pattern with these videos that anytime I make, uh, once again, talking about video, it's usually about a game that's usually almost a decade years old. Usually. Or, like, I haven't gotten to play it because of, like... Not having a PC or all this other jazz. But anyways, no, today we are talking about a very special game. We are talking about yeah, Momodora, uh, Reverie Under the Moonlight. Now, as you guys all know, and as you guys are probably watching this and being like, Oh, this game? Oh, uh, yes, it has been like a while since anybody mentioned it because it came out in like 2006 or 2015. I forget which one it was. But, it has been like a long time since anybody's recognized this game, but Multi, why are you making a video on a game that's almost 10 years old? You know, I left you in silence there be just because I wanted to make sure you felt my pain. Um, there's a lot of things in life that I haven't tried as a gamer. As somebody who's never owned a PC until only literally last year in September, which... It's almost been a year since then, now that I think about it, and I'm like, bruh, playing PC games has been kind of my, my life for the past couple of months, which is why I've also disappeared, because I've kind of just said, oh, I'm just going to play everything I want and just enjoy myself, so yeah, here we are. But um, I was just thinking to myself, you know, I'm not going to say that I'm a very scared gamer that's like, I don't like playing out of my comfort zone, but I think after I got my PC, I think is when I first realized and started understanding things about myself and what I think I now more hone in on video games. So, Momodora, Reverie Under the Moonlight, is a very light, and I and I emphasize this, very light, um, what's it called? A Metroidvania? I think it's more of an action platformer than a Metroidvania when I'm coming down and thinking about it, because I'm, th I'm thinking about my time with the game, because, again, it is a Metroidvania that is, like, four and a half hours, maybe five or six, depending on how good you are at Metroidvanias. Um, a game you can just sit down, play in like an afternoon or a back half of your day and just kind of play it until it's completed. It has very gorgeous pixel art. Like I, I know that I'm biased to pixel art and sprite art and all of this stuff because it's nostalgic to me personally. But come on, man. Look at the, you're looking at the gameplay right now, and if this doesn't appeal to you, I, uh, you probably, first of all, think uh, pixel art looks bad. Or second of all, you probably don't think the gameplay is very fun. Which, I'm happy to say, the gameplay in this game is extremely fun and extremely enriching, and the music in this game is immaculate. Um, me playing this game was a departure for me. Like, genuinely, you guys know that I am playing, um, as of this recording at least i don't know if i have finished it or not yet but i am trying to beat uh the rest of hollow knight which also is my like first introduction to this metroidvania style gameplay because i've always been daunted by metroidvanias because of the fact that i know that i'm like i don't know if i'm very good at a platforming shooters or platforming fighting experiences and then having to backtrack and remember everything that within a game so i'm like bruh I, I, I feel overwhelmed sometimes when I'm trying to do stuff because I don't know when I should do things, what's equal to the events, where I can go, where I can't go, which is also why for at least Hollow Knight, I basically was like, yo, if you guys want to backseat me on that game because I'm very out of my element playing these types of games, then by all means, I do not care. But Momodora is probably the first game I think I've ever played that I genuinely just sat down, played, 
and somebody recommended it. No, that's a lie. I watched somebody play uh, the first or second boss of the game. I watched it and I said, I could do this. <laughs> and that's what I did. I sat down uh, one evening. It actually took me an evening and a half because I was taking my time trying to unlock and get some of the secrets because surprisingly, I got addicted to the game. It's a very fun game. I think the strength of this game is that it doesn't last long so you can replay it as many times as you want to get really good at it it only takes four hours um most of the achievements if you're playing this game on steam i don't know if it's gone to other platforms i think it has since uh now but if i'll put them up on screen if they have gone to other platforms but for me i played it on steam ran very smoothly uh, only really, it runs in full screen mode, but really it's only windowed mode plus, because you still have the bordered outlines. The game, you get both a projectile and a melee attack, which melee in a game like this is a heaven sent, because I personally use the melee a lot more than the range. Because the range in option in this game is very good for targets you can't see, but, you know, when you're not doing that, you can stun lock every enemy in this game by just jumping and pressing the melee attack button. And I think that's really broken and very funny. And which made me like the game a whole lot. Because almost every enemy in this game gets ate up by getting hit physically with your leaf. Which is your main character's main ability. Uh, I don't know if I really should go into story spoilers. Because there's not very much to spoil to begin with. Um, other than you are a maiden that comes from an ails from another land that came to this land to basically take on the role of somebody who was going to exercise a certain person slash entity that got controlled. And that's basically it in a nutshell. I won't spoil any more stuff because there's a lot of twists and surprises in this game. A lot of stuff that I was very interested that they had in it and I'm like, whoa, the fact that they took the time to actually add some of this stuff was actually kind of sick. I will say the boss fights in this game are probably the highlight like even without worrying about exploration i think the boss fights are the highlight um almost every boss that i played in this game made me impressed in some sort of way it's mostly because most of the ways that these bosses impresses you because it asks you hey you know this type of attack pattern or learning this type of movement that an enemy has all right so now let's crank that up to 15 and let's see if you know how to dodge certain patterns that you're not used to and see if you can get through with you know re being able to react in time or be able to know what enemy patterns do so you can get out of the way of attacks while still landing attacks which i think that's the strength of this game in general just being able to be like yeah I get rewarded and for having knowledge and patience and knowing stuff about the game and i will say this this is the only spoiler i guess i will say for the game if anybody is still interested and still listening up until this point but momodora has a very cool thing if you beat a boss without taking any damage you get unique items from those individual bosses that you beat without taking damage so sometimes it's even better to just end your run or don't beat a boss and quit to the main menu to try to get a no hit run on a boss so you can get their weapon which is really cool i wish more games that had this sort of style had that where it's like if you have a mastery of a boss or if you're so good that you go on your first attempt of fighting a boss and beat it without taking any damage you should just be able to get a cool little equipment item you know i think stuff like that really brings out the great part of momodora and i do know that there's a sequel game that just came out recently which i'm going to play at some point but i just wanted to make this video because i just wanted to talk to people who like metroidvania games love pixel art the music in this game is immaculate by the way too genuinely some of the most interesting soundtracks one of the most interesting soundtracks that i've heard in the past couple of years that I kind of just meld into the actual atmosphere of the game so easily because of how the music just kind of settles in and each of the tracks very much tell the tone of each area you're in and it didn't distract from the gameplay. If anything, it enhances it because I feel like the way that they construct the music and for like each boss fight almost has its own unique track. Some of them get reused, yes, but also they're so good that I'm like, you should. <laughs> I'm like, it's like a Xenoblade Chronicles sort of type of like 
use of, you know, certain themes, you know? They know when to use them because they know it's really good, but they don't oversaturate it so much so you get tired of listening to it, which is the greatest part of any game. Now, that being said, that's probably going to be it for the video, right? I'm just going to say this, but I will come back with a sequel video whenever I get around to playing the sequel of this game, because obviously this is going to go on the games of this year list because I did play it. Um... But, you know, genuinely speaking, I am so happy that I found a Metroidvania game that actually was for me, and I very much enjoyed it. And, again, this is exactly why I love talking about video games with you guys, because experiencing these things makes me happy when I get to finally break out of my shell and find something new that I like. But I hope you guys, all my lovely chats of the internet, hope you have a wonderful day. I have been Multi126789. Other known as Multi Man, and I'll catch you, lovely chows of the internet, next time for another video. So, ciao, ciao, until the next one.